All right, fantastic. You are still watching hashtag Why in the Morning with me right here, Brian Sakua. Ensure that you continue to chat with us on our social media platforms so on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. New i two four four channel. Remember, pala Instagram Kuraka underscore and Minds is at Brian. Seriously, the, the hell is wrong with this talk back? Anyways. That's why you know it's a, a live show. But uh, you can interact with me at Brian Sucker 101 on all my social media platforms. Remember, the hashtag is still Y in the morning, and this segment is MCM. We are all about conversations that will give you a whole new world of endless possibilities and imaginations. And remember, we had asked you a question on our social media platform. Je, wewe, wewe. Na financial situation yako mkoje, especially saizi, due to the opaque nature of the economic conditions. Uh, continue sending your feedback. We'll be reading it towards uh, the tail end of this conversation. Now, the topic of discussion at hand that we've got, tunanda kuongele economic survival skills. Sama yunazazita tactics za bochal. Unajua sometimes, ukiwa bochal kuna kuonga na kapresha flani tu. I could try and impress. Sometimes when I pressure, I could provide, especially if you are a married man or you are dating. Now, when I learn, uh, design like you want to have a very stable relationship, you're getting in a relationship with this beautiful babe and you want her to live a good life or she has literally set standards that you feel Miss Yes is your chief, okay? So we're going to delve into that conversation right about now. And joining me on set are two powerful and I, I used to the word powerful, okay? Two powerful gentlemen, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves on my immediate right. Good morning. Welcome. Introduce yourself. Yeah. I'm John Patrick. Uh -huh. A PR practitioner. Okay. And a young entrepreneur. The young entrepreneur. PR practitioner, and young entrepreneur. entrepreneur. Yeah. Nice. Excellent. Welcome. Next brother is um, Harrison. Harrison. Uh, and I can producer T. Producer T here. Produce, producer T nafanya music production, audio music production. Uh, under the Boliang and to Great Sounds Productions. Niko Kisi Estate Thika Makongeni. All right. And I took Estate Sasa. I remember he said he's married, so show <laughs> Riyako. Anyways, I'm just playing. <laughs> but back to the topic at hand. Uh, your ass as men, me as I am, me as I am, as I, anyways. Pony, my tell your man. As, as men, kuna kuonga na ile pressure ya kujaribu kuimpress. And I love the fact that you're already married. Maybe you'll give us a broader outlook of how to maintain a, a responsible wife. But before that, the dating scene is actually very murky. Kuna venye mademo wengi wame set standard, especially kwa economic ya, economy ya sai. Before dema ingi ya boxa na uleza ukona nini. Adi kuna ile the African notion, oleka kwa mtu mwenye, akona pesa. Do you think it has massively impacted uh, Let me start with you, Harrison, and then I'll come back to you, John. Um, before, before, okay, we are going to get married to, to my wife, Okay. To lead it. Like I took date for long. Okay. For how yeah. long, Evie? Uh come we lenders and lend a mozi moja. What in the world? Okay. So <laughs> yeah, mozi moja to you to lead it. Uh to Lianza took it to November up on show or December. December of which year? Uh, that's twenty sixteen. Okay, good. Uh, so I'm to make a car up. Okay. Uh -huh. during ele time I could date. Now like to me as advice kijana. Uh, mwenye bado ama mwenye bado anafikiria kumari ile kitu unaweza ukafanya time ya dating time ya dating hiyo unakuwa umepatiwa kwa umepatiwa kwa umepatiwa nini umepatiwa eh, opportunity ya kujua huyu mtu mwenye unataka kwenda kukaa naye so kama hiyo issue na mambo na pesa mambo na pesa kama kijana haufai ku kuonyeshana kuonyesha hiyo msichana ambaye una date kwamba eh, naweza nika Naweza nika kufanyia hii, naweza kufanyia hiyo ingine. Yani wewe upande wa pesa uko stable. Haufai kumuonyesha hiyo. Haufai kumuonyesha na kapia. Haufai kumuonyesha hapo. Hata kama uko sawa, mpatie tu kidogo, kidogo. Kama doses tu, ukimjuanga pia mtu na diti nani. Juhu, mshuasi hiku, uyo mstiana naweza kuja kuwa kwa kusabi hile pesa ukonaya. Akose, hile mapenzi ya. Haiko. Iko, iko. Sasa ni pesa. Sasa ni hile pesa. Hile pesa haketo ha. mvuta kwako. Yeah. Iyo pesa ikisha mvuta kwako. Sasa ni ambia, iyo pesa ikisha, iyo pesa wakati itaondoka. Itaisha. Itatoka na ye. 
Mm. Yeah, itatoka na ye. So, yeah. penda mtu. Ukita kujua mtu anakupenda pia huko sasa hiyo upande wao mwingine yeye pia kuonyesha upendo yeah. bila ku involve pesa si yeah. involve pesa pesa ifai kuwa ndio kitu ile cha msingi kabisa kwa relationship upendo ikuje kwanza alafu pesa ifuate sababu pesa, pesa inazaondoka upendo ibakie yeah no. interesting uh, before you answer this question i'll come back to you uh, but how do you know utajuaje ni nafaka kumpea pesa at what point you unaanza kumpea pesa you will answer that when i come back to you but uh, uh, john at, at, at what point uh, do you start you know having this relationship with this chick you mentioned that you are single of course kuna nyo me date kadaka of course i'm not single oh you're not oh. <laughs> this was just by the way okay <laughs> there you go but how how does it go for you mm, to some extent kwanza kuna kitu tunasema unajua chenye unataka Uh -huh. sometimes we date to impress we, we date to impress yeah. uh, we don't date to marry uh, yeah. Yeah. especially my boy child yeah my boy child we don't okay. date to, to impress okay date to impress always invest up you can't invest with mm. your little yeah, resources yeah, yeah, yeah. Date to investment in any hustle investment sometimes sometimes only yeah. to like unaika kitu like investment if i want you for life okay. i'll invest in you like i can treat you i can give you the best i can Mm. the best na is a manage hiyo yeah. ni ku invest but mm. ile ku date to impress ile like you're just clubbing you're just enjoying yourself like campus dating yeah. sometimes we just date for fun so there's campus dating mm. and now there's like real life real dating, life dating okay. outside yeah. there hapo sasa ndio utaanza kuambia huyu mtu the reality on the ground unajua kwa ground yeah. vitu ni different different kabisa ah then sometimes huko ya nje like let me give you a good example mimi nilikuwa natembea na politician I was a peer to one of the governorial aspirant yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so by that time I was dating to impress ju dozi ko najua wewe una eh unatembea na mwana na governor eh, eh uh -huh. niko na governor yeah. what yeah. next hapo una date good PR. eh hapo una date to impress but yeah. sasa inafika life sasa i am dating i'm preparing to marry that's now different hapo sasa naanza ku date ile like this is my life in your maisha naishi indio salary na pewa zile pesa zote nilikuwa nabeba zile pesa sasa si zangu e, ni za ule jamaa so unaanza kuwa real kitu mm, inasumbua yeah. so many boy child we are not real, real yeah. kwa relationship i think to feature feature yeah, to feature feature, feature juu tunaogopa kwa expose weaknesses zetu yeah nice let me come back to you uh, Horizon at what point do you realize acha nianze kupewa hiyo damn pesa sasa acha nianze ku provide pesa zake za wig pesa za uba pesa za manicure na pedicure pesa za klabu hizo vitu zote na if i told leo package nasikia kuna different packages someone has it bells kuna ile bell inataka pesa ya klabu ya wig ya rent ya uber na kuna ile wanasema ni kienyeji so at what point do you get unaanza kupewa huo manzi do so ile kitu tunaweza sema ni hakuna point tunaweza kusema acha sasa nianze kumpatia ya itafika time tutasema sasa nimeziweka sana acha nianze kumpatia hiyo sio sawa ile kitu tunafaa kufanya ni ukishakaa na msichana ushamjua si ndio yeah. umemjua e, kuna zile vitu kama mimi sasa hivi naweza naweza nikasema eh hebu nisaidie na nisaidie na pesa kesi fulani yeah yeah, yeah. Unaona, kuna kuna ile time mtu ana mtu anaweza kosa sasa yeah. mtu hawezi kosa alafu kose kumsaidia tu juu unampima ya yeah, eh, lazima ujue kutofautisha yeah. eh, lakini kuna zile pesa na sema wisdom utatoa wapi wisdom ya kujua hmm. anani na, na msaidia ama ananipimanisha so lazima ukue mwaisi yeah. yeye yeah, zingine tabidi umeendea kwa magoti <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. eh, eh, so ujue ya kwamba kuna wakati mtu anahitaji kuhitaji na kuna yeah. kuna wakati mtu anafika so ile, ile tofauti inaweza patena ni kwamba usipatie yani pesa eh, vitu kama hiyo eh, kuishi extravagant hii mm. mbona luxury nini wigs yeah. eh, na kama ni demand na demand unajua sasa hizi kuna kama, mention kuna bell si ya madema ama so, kuna types kama kuna ni package inataka uba inataka kuna hadi wale wako na gari anataka pesa za kufuel na wako na wako na gari kali kama wako na kama wako na pesa wako na gari anataka pesa ya mtu hizi kuwa hizi kuwa na uwezi kuwa na uwezi kuwa una gari unataka pesa rodate unataka una, una ndio kufiwa hiyo gari yeah. Juma, kama mtu akona dinga ni kumaanisha mtu pia ako job lazima ako kazi mm. lazima ako lazima ako kazi Chuk lakini uh -huh. eh, msichana uh, i can see john is disagreeing with you ni sawa ni sawa ni sawa tutapatana tu yeah eh ukitaka kupatiana pesa 
yeah. kwa msiano mpatie pesa wakati okay, 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 ile wakati utaona hapa hapa kuna kuna hitaji okay. lakini pesa za starehe kama mm. ni mtu unataka kuoa usianze kumonyesha starehe mm. ndio unataka kuoa usianze kumpeleka kwa hiyo saidia starehe yeah. ile umeweza end up kupati the whole of your life mm. hiyo time utakosa ile kuache mwisho alafu pia kuja kuache mm. ama apate mwingine mwenye atampe pesa apate mtu mwenye ataendeleza ata 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 hiyo shughuli ile ile chain mm. okay let me come back to you john i'm your, your reaction mm. yeah Please first yeah. Amesema mtu anaweza kuwa na gari na gari na haizi kosa pesa ya kufuel. Mm -hmm. No, that's a big no. Unaweza kuwa na gari sometimes watu hukosa. Let's okay. be real in life. Uh -huh. okay. Issue ya sponsor, I think in a, in a paint exactly picture issue ya sponsor. Yes. Dema meko vizuri kule Kilimani. Mm. Think of all the posh locations in Nairobi. Anaishi kwa condo, they call it a condo expensive in alipo 230k per month. Yes. Amepewa posh Chrysler konayo. Iyo Porsche Chrysler ni fuel gasla hata it to me normal fuel. Na anahitaji almost 300k every end month comment. Na lazima itisha mtu ana date. Maybe ana date politician. I think up to that extent, yeah. oh dem anajua chini anataka. Unajua nilikwambia in a relationship lazima ujue what you want in a relationship. And then you as a boy pia lazima ujue unataka nini kwa relationship. Wewe zenda ku date dem kama wewe unaona ka kitu. Bro, utakuwa una unaji nini? Una stress financial yeah. stress itakuwa because yeah. unaenda kwa class you can't manage mm. to some extent to see miss judge ladies at you want to judge them at you wengine yeah. wanapenda pesa and yeah. then again to say maybe we should not treat them sometimes kwa sure. na pesa yako kidogo you must treat them bro hata kama unataka mm. but kama utaki kwa treat basi endea kienyeji pro max <laughs> if you don't want to treat them i want to let them to some extent ukiwa na pesa yako kidogo yeah. you feel like today niko na unajua treatment in a very yeah. na your class Mm. Yeah, always end up treat mtu like um, place ingine yenye you can't manage to pay to pay for it. Yeah. To pay for. Ama mna split bill. Na ndio kuna wale wao wanasema sema eh tukienda dates Kempinski ama think of any other locations za kwenda dates zenye wao huenda. Si lazima muende Kempinski anyway. Yeah. Umesema uende penye una afford. Kuna wale msi atasema mi kama bill ni 2k acha nilipe 1000 nilipe 1000. Do you think it works? It works. Okay. First for some people or said here. And then also in a lingana na this thing sometimes unmepata msichana na maybe maisha yake si expensive or maisha yake ni expensive. Unajua kidogo kwa kwa home yenye unajieza. Yeah. And then wanaita demo agetical. Eh, yeah. Kuna madem pia outside here. Yeah. Watu wamewadet they were expensive msako kwa na kika kitu wakainua wase wakakuwa to same level to same yeah. atisi ndio watu na wa sustain no sustain kuna ma, yeah. kuna madem kwa na sustain my boy pia mm, hey. sisi my boy child usikuje tu ati oh, oh. but what yeah. we should know you yeah. should cut your coat according, according to, to your, your size, size. size yeah. yeah interesting uh, sentiments right there horizon issue yeah. your sponsors to be mention them and she condo expensive analipi wa nyumba extremely extravagant exorbitant lifestyle size kwa boy child mwenye na watch back at home na anataka kila mtu anataka dem rembo hakuna mtu anataka dem mwenye aze tembea na ya show off hey huyu ni manzi yangu bwana niko na kiru niko na shori yeah kila mtu anataka dem rembo anaishi fiti anaita msichana gitikal but uta, uta realize uh, in the recent let's say 3 4 5 years madem wengi wame fall under the issue of sponsors na Utakuta boys ame fall in love na yu dem but hawezi 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 provide vitu zenye yu dem anapewa na sponsor. Mm. Sponsor member she had the latest iPhone anampeleka ku shop siju at what designer anapeleka vacation siju wapi. Na wewe uko tu hapo wewe ni campus guy humble but still mm. but kuna kuna kuangana ka connection anyways. Utakuta ume fall in dem akona standards zingine za juu ameko life nyingine normal sana. Kuna chemistry. But wewe uko tu hapo down. So oni victim <laughs> mm. yeah uh -huh. kama demo ako na sponsor na wewe unatafuta mtu akoa wewe unaenda kutafuta nini huko maybe unajua ni choices mostly hazi kuambia hata kuambia kwa na sponsor lakini unajua mtu hazi kwa hiyo msichana mwenyewe hazi kuambia kwa na sponsor yeah. lakini maisha yake itaonyesha kwa na sponsor okay maisha yake ile maisha anaishi utaona huyu maisha hii hii life sio ameekwa hii maisha hata okay si lazima kuwekwa juu mtu pia anaza jeka mtu anaza tafuta pesa zake ajeke life in this full it's full of choices mtu mm. not even just choices na decisions every morning mtu ukiamka una make decision atumi leo decision ya jana hivi kuna kitu kulikuwa na struggle nayo jana lakini sitaki kuendelea nao leo na kesho so yeah. acha nimeamka leo i make another decision so ikifika time sasa unasema eh, 
umependa msichana but msichana mwenyewe akona sponsor immediately wewe umejua msichana akona mbaba ondoka wewe jitoe jio hiyo pia niko risk hiyo yeah. pia niko risk jua mbaba akijua kwamba eh, ni kama ni kama uko na sugar mommy uko na sugar mommy sugar mommy akijua eh, wewe bado uko bado uko na kampango nyingine mahali anaweza yeah. kuua mm. eh, so yeah. jitoe ishi maisha yako kulingana na ile na ile uwezo uko nayo yeah. live according to your standard to avoid yeah. pressure na nini na nini ukitaka kumari tafuta tu mtu haiba yako wewe mweke kwa nyumba mm. I, I remember something kulikuwa na msee mwenye alisema alikuwa anatumia hiyo dem anamwambia ende kwa sponsor wapige shughuli alipwe pesa zake vizuri akuje mm. waendelee na maisha so, <laughs> ni dem anaenda kufanya huko mambos mm. analeta huko majambos so mm. ni chain sasa hiyo hiyo si mapenzi hiyo ni hustle hiyo ni job hapana hiyo si mapenzi hapana hakuna venye hakuna venye mimi na zatoa wife kwa nyumba niombe enda kwa jamaa fulani jua kuna pesa Yeah. Endo pige shughuli huko uniletee pesa. Wacha wacha endeleza. Yeye ni hustle. Wacha nikuulize yeye. Yeah, true. Mm. Uh-huh. What about kama kuna chemistry? Unajua sometimes yeah. we must understand our economic situation. Kama mm. kuna chemistry yeah. Yeah. between a, a, a girl and a boy. Yeah. But ule msichana ameenda huko kutafuta pesa. But you mm. boy wake wewe sasa yeah. unapendwa. Unajua kuna some, some to some mm. extent au madem huenda kwa au masponyo na nini nini. Mm. But unajikuta huo dem Oh boy yeah. anataka ni wewe ame yeah, insist yeah. wewe ni boy wake like true, true, true. Yeah. understand you are you are in your financial situation so mm. anakupenda tu ile real love yeah. utajikata mm. honestly yeah, yeah. 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 real love yeah. alafu uko anaenda kusa alafu uko kosa anaenda kuchapa shughuli yeah. na issue kuchapa shughuli hakuna pesa yake hakuna kuwa sawa hapo aha au utakuwa sawa hakuna kuwa sawa why but at the same time dem anaweza date machali wanne wa tano sita lakini afisi yake ya fulani by the time anakuja kwa kwa amepitia kwa sasa sita na hautajua Si, kama sijui ni sawa but but eh, lakini ni, si ati mimi nampatia ruhusa enda enda ufanye hiyo nisikue ni wewe nisikue ni mimi napeana hiyo orders but, but wacha okay. nikuulize eh. kama dem ana ku unajua madem masquizi almost 80% wana to play dem ana okay. play na boy true na unajua to some extent watu unajua jua atakwambia ule ni besti na unajua na kuna kitu anakusaidia nayo na huyu dem amekuwa open and honest akakwambia mimi juu ya my financial situation niko na huyu mbaba na huyu mbaba ananipanga hii kitu kidogo wewe pia boy vile sasa maisha imetufinya mm. and month na kupe kitu kama kapa 20 utakata acha niko wa wife wako bro uh, uh, <laughs> let me throw that to your wife you are married ingekuwa mm. ni wife wako anafanya hivyo mm. utamdivorce umwambie sasa naona ni wakati wa kufunga virago honestly yes yes it was you're not allowed yes it was eh yes it was it was afadhali nijitume tu nijitume yeah. kiume Naona no, nipate ile kitu nitapata mm-hmm. nikamtu tupigeshea kwa keja naona. No, no. yeah. Lakini kutoka nje anaweza toka hivyo nje enda kuletea kaswende bro. <laughs> Maybe anachapa na protection bro. Yeah. Yeah. Sasa wewe imeandikwa wapi na protection? Maybe hata wao wazee wanaanga nguvu. Unajua ma sponsor wao kusema kusema hata wao na uwezo ah tukubali. Hakuna nguvu unahitaji kupeana kaswende bro. No, wao wazee sasa hivi hata kuamka ni shida. <laughs> anyways, anyways, so back to back to uh, pressure ya society na set kwa maboy child. Mzaya amekwambia soma vizuri, maliza enda university pata kazi, nataka uoe. Lakini sisi kwa boy child kulinganisha na life yetu yenye tumeumbwa, lazima ujitafutie na umemention utaenda ujitafutie you will do whatever it takes to ensure that you have gotten that money in the right way. Mm. Kuna wasi fulani au jawa juu hana pesa. Uh, Utasikia msana kwamba mimi sitaki kumari juu. My financial situation is opec. Do mm. you think it's affecting my boy child sana sana kwa mita? Hiyo hiyo na ina affect. Hiyo ina affect sana. Lakini kwa upande wangu mimi, yeah. mimi si kwa ati juu nilikuwa na. Au kwa juu uko financially stable. Ah. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. In fact, haiko sawa lakini in fact ni kimari nilikuwa na kimatress plan ilishawa na D distance wewe kali matress ndogo. Hiyo nilikuwa naweka hivi chini. Na dose chini. Na kimatress plan ilikuwa na dose chini. Na demo alikubali na hiyo condition. Yeah. Alinikubali hivyo. Okay. Alinikubali hivyo. Uh-huh. Sasa ni ile tu wewe ukikubali watu wengine sasa yenye na affect you hivyo. Mimi naweza nikasema ukipata mtu mtu mkisikizana naye. Unajua mm-hmm. marriage inaanza na kuwa kuelewana. Lazima tuelewane. Yeah. Wewe ukuje juanga mimi wewe ujue mimi nakaanga hivi nisiende kuambia mimi nafanya kazi mali fulani hovu hata maybe siko job 
Mm-hmm. So jua life yangu, mimi niko hivi. Yeah. Ikiwa yeah. utanipenda nataka kuishi na mimi unajua unaishi na mtu aina, mtu aina gani? Yeah. Na kwa simple. Yeah. Hautajipatia pressure ati wacha ni maboyo anakataa kuoa sasa hivi ati jua aona do. Yeah. Maana mimi sema pesa ndio inaoana. Mm-hmm. Enda msikizane. Kama una yeah. pesa enda enda mpaka kwa wazazi. Enda msikizane mwambie yenyewe mimi sina hakuna kitu niko na. Labda ni street boy ama ni msi hata alitemwa na familia. Unajua kuna wase for like 10 years ajaye bonga na mtu yote wa kwao. Hata kuna msio mtext kutoka kwao. Yako tu mta ako Nairobi anaendelea na maisha. Lakini sasa yeah. siongee mambo ya wazazi wa wazazi wa, wa kwetu. Yeah. Wa, wa, wa kijana yeah. wa msichana. Wa msichana ya. Yeah. Eh wazazi unajua ruhusa yeah. ruhusa ile ile ya msingi ni kutoka kwa sedi ya, ya msichana. Mm. Eh. Yeah. So sure. kama kama wazazi wake wako sawa na wewe msichana wako sawa, niendeleeni. Mambo na pesa mtenda mkisoto mkisonga. Okay, interesting. Your feedback on that one? I think I think to some extent I'm saying more quickly. Yeah, you agree with him. Yeah, I agree with him to some extent, not fully. Yeah. Unajua when you want Why? to marry, you want <laughs> lazima you look for a anini a nini uh, permanent partner. When you are mm-hmm. looking for a permanent partner, kuna vitu yenye lazima lazima mu agree mm-hmm. before you get married. Kama sasa mimi nitakataka kuwa kuna vitu nitakaa chini tuangalie and then i'll be real nitambia dem mimi niko hivi na hivi so by the time you are coming into my life you must know huyu jamaa anaweza fanya hii haezi fanya hii ju lazima tukue kitu moja but kuna to some extent i'm disagreeing with him ju time yenu umeoa nini ita ita ita, ita nini the living standard ita change ju inaweza inaweza take the one year nimepata mtoto mtoto hii lazima atataka medical care mtakuwa na medical care lazima mtoea kule lazima mtoea kwa smart yeah. after three years mtoea atataka kwenda shule that's why sisi boy child what tunataka tuwe kama tuko financially stable, stable yeah. not because that tunataka ku feed them ku impress them hapana lifestyle will change kama ulikuwa sure, umezoea yeah. kukula kwa kibandiski 70 bob yeah. kibandiski 70 bob utakuwa na dem utakuwa na partner mm-hmm. lunch itakuwa around you. 150. So that's why kwa tuna prepare yeah. kukua stable. Not because we want to impress, to impress the lady. No. So it's okay to wait until you're financially stable. To some extent. To some extent. Because it yeah. will come with the responsibility. Responsibility. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So acha, it's a, a 50-50 situation. Yeah. Okay, Harrison. Yeah. Yeah. Najua tukisema ati mambo na financial stable. Yeah. Eh, tuseme mtu wako. Sayi mtu, 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 mtu wame alianza kutafuta pesa kitamu. Lakini mambo yake bado haja, mambo haja jiba. <laughs> mtu wako 40. <laughs> Anaelekea 50 ya bado tu anataka kuwa financial stable. Huyo mtu hata yeye kwa sababu haja kuwa financial stable. Aha. Uh-huh. Acha nikuambie kitu. The moment umeoa, hata mentality yako ita change. Mm-hmm. Utajua kama nilikuwa naenda naenda naunga kilo moja kwa nyumba. Sasa yeah. nafaa kwenda na mbili. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu tu tumeongezeka. Mm-hmm. Venye tu responsibility imeongezeka. Wewe pia ongeza hasa. Ongeza tu BD, hakuna kitu kingine. Ongeza BD, utajuanga na hakuna vinyo utashindo kufidio. Wife kama mwenye unajilisha, uwezi yeah. shindo kumlisha. Yeah. Eh, na mini lijaribu hivyo. Umenikumbusha kitu financial literacy. Yes. Kuna wasi wengi, uh, acha nisema wasi wengi. Msema nyo natoka kwa background yenye hajai funza kusave, hajai funza kuspend, hajai, like ile knowledge, like if I have 10,000, lazima ni set aside um, maybe around 7000 ama 10 ama maybe a half of that so that it take care of ada ya mwenyewe kujimaintain ni shida no. cuz hana financial literacy mm. sasa anaweza anaweza anzia wapi na maybe amejaribu kila kitu na imefail aha uh-huh. you see si kila mtu tunapata opportunity ya kufunzwa kila kitu mtu zingine watu wafunzwa na maisha you yes. learn on the job yes. <laughs> yes. Mm. Okay. Sababu sasa si si uweze sema ati sasa hizi niko na thao. Okay. Eh? Niko na 1000 tu na najua hakuna sina hakuna mali pingine na ngojea pesa. Lazima najua hii thao nitaitumia aje. Mm. No, no. Okay. Tumia ile pesa ile, ile pesa ina kama tumia kulingana na maisha yenyewe mwenyewe unaishi. Hakuna mtu atashinda kwa hakuna mtu atakaa chini akwambie wewe hii 1000 buga eka 200 pale eka nyingine hivi. Wewe igawe mwenyewe. You have to be wise. Wisdom ni kitu hakuna mtu kufunza kuwa wise. Hakuna mm-hmm. mtu kufunza hiyo. And speaking of that kuna wasemwa mengi hadi kwa ma deals kama za wash wash. Unakuta due to the pressure ya ku maintain lifestyle, maybe mm-hmm. story na financial literacy. Amefika si semi wash wash anyways. <laughs> imefika tu <laughs> imefika tu place hadi imebidi umeenda beyond your living means. 
I don't know kutaka na wase. I think kulikuwa na mwaka mtu aliwawa a very powerful gentleman alipigwa risasi na business deal ilianza sawa na ilikuwa in the name of providing maintaining a lifestyle ya magari mm. business partners wengine hata hawaeleweki just in the name of ku maintain ka lifestyle fulani na ku impress mm. bibi yake mm. yeah. sema watu wameingia crime sita wash wash kuna vijana wa ningia crime, crime. Yeah, in yeah. short it's, yeah. it's a coded word for <coughs> crime, crime. <laughs> so hiyo yeah. ni choice yeah hiyo ni choice tu mtu amemeka okay eh yeah ameamua e, kama itabidi ni huwe ndio niishi acha nifanye nifanye hivi lakini kuna ule mtu ambaye anaona afadhali niende ndale njaa lakini ikose kufanya kufanya kitu ambacho si sawa but yeah. wacha wacha nikuulize hmm. saa zingine wase hujituma mimi nimekutana na young guys outside here nimeka politics kidogo hmm. msana anakuja kwa kanakwambia nimejituma bro Yeah. nimefanya kila kitu, kila kitu yeah. but nimekata ama sina choice eh, sina yeah. choice nimefika mwisho consequences yeah. nimefanya kila kitu but imefika hii point i can't manage it mm. so mm. naona tu solution labda ni kuingia crime nifanye nini juu sasa zingine mse huoa sasa hii maybe unaweza unaweza kuwa unachapa hustle hustle zako zinaingia but mm. kuna time vitu katatu una just mm, mini, yeah. nimekuwa outside here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. nimekuwa na, nikifanya hustle zangu yeah. nilifungua ka building and construction company kuna time una apply hizi even matenders mm. hata unaomba tu si nipewa hata ya kujenga cho mm. zinakata azi ama connection na mtu najua eh, yeah. anakutupa anakutupa imekata so mm. utafanya nini unajua to that extent that why that's why vijana wengine wanaogopa ku risk Yeah, yeah, risking, people, yeah. yeah, risking. Wase wanagopa ku risk. Juu ako like ikifail ni tadu. Eh, yeah. ikifail ni tadu. Hiyo yeah. kitu ime, imetuma so many young people to crime. True, Unasikia yeah. tu best yako ama imetuma so many guys to depression. Yeah. Mse jana alikuwa tu poa, leo naambiwa best yako amejinyonga. And then ukiangalia maisha amekuwa kiishi Jamaa amekuwa kichapa luku wako tu sawa. So, yeah. so kwanza kuna hiyo pressure kupiga luku. Hadi kuna wimbo yeah. <laughs> zinasema piga luku kula wanja. <laughs> yes. Unakutana mm. mse then unapigiwa simu ati ah jamaa fulani fulani tumepata amejinyonga. Ukiulizia okay, yeah. huyo mse alikuwa na una nini? Ama amewaa na wasi na wasi. So to some extent hata tukiadvise ah jamaa kitu yenye one thing I'm agreeing with you 100% okay. is lazima tukue na financial literacy. literacy ama kufunzwa kufunzwa start saving yeah. preparing ha yeah lazima tuambie jamaa ukipata 100 bob unaweza tumia 70 kama ni mbaya save 30 najua if yeah. if you can save 30 bob within 10 days hapo utakuwa na 300 yeah. ukisave hiyo 300 within also even 2 months utakuwa yeah. na pesa nyingine you will buy ka something wiki kwa nyumba yako mm -hmm. yeah true, 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 true. the following day ume save save utanua ka kitu wiki kwa nyumba unajua kuna kunga wasio wanakuja kutembelea and then wako like eh hey bro hii keje yako iko fit yeah. eh, unamwambia ah, iko fully fledged and then ukiangalia <laughs> pesa yeye hupata na na wewe upata ile yako hata iko juu juu sana times 3 yeah, three. yeah. <laughs> eh, times 3 na hii yako ni vile ya juu ku save mm, yeah. saving culture yes na thank you for that Let me come back uh -huh. to you Harrison before you react. Um mm. kushai kuna incidents as it is may happen church mse ameomba loan ya 10 million ku finance harusi. <laughs> mm. And then after hapo bibi akapium akapotelea pote. Mm. What usually happens? Hadi mabucha ndo anakuwa push to a point unaomba 10 million ya bank una finance we do. Ama unachangia na wasio chat. Unakotoa me add like 200 people kwa WhatsApp group. Please lipeni dawari huyo mse anaenda kumare and then 2 3 months later demo amefia amenda. Wewe hiyo si is advice mtu. Yeah, si is advice. Ulichangiwa? kuko kulipa goja goja mbona na run away from goja goja kulikuwa na hiyo pressure ile time tu nilianza nikachapa introduction nikamwambia but then pasi nilikuwa kwake nikamwambia mimi nimepata oh you are under certain pastor eh nikamwambia nataka kufanya nini nataka kuo nataka kumari sasa hapo ndio hiyo mambo ilikuja reaction yake ilikuwa vipi nimwambia hey tengeneza tengeneza committee Unatengeneza komiti. Hiyo komiti unajua wewe utaenda kwanza kusumbuana. Unaitisha watu pesa. Na wewe unataka kuoa. <laughs> Bro, kama pesa uko nazo hazitoshi kufanya harusi. Achana na harusi. Nani alikwambia harusi marriage si harusi ni kunini tu, ku publicize tu. Yeah. Aina hakuna hakuna si, si, si lazima. Harusi si lazima. Mtu asikwambia mm. atienda kopa pesa. Wewe yeah. ukuja hapo unashinda. In fact hata yule demo spotoroka. Life yako utakuwa unalipa tu loan ya harusi. Harusi ulipatia watu mchele wakakula. 
Mm. Mm. Au washa ndo wanapiga shughuli zao huko hapa busy pesa ikiingia percentage percentage fulani imeenda kwa loan. Yeah. Kama hauna pesa za kufanya harusi hapana pia watu pressure. Tumia But pastor amesema pastor amesema bwana kijana wangu <laughs> lazima ufanye harusi nimekuombea hadi <laughs> ukapata bibi ile kwa ngumu. Eh. Mbona mbona unataka kwenda njia sia? Kama amesema na ata provide hiyo aseme na provide si aseme na lakini akasema na kuachia hapa. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I think hiyo issue na kwanga na hii nini yenye nitaambia mbugi nini nitaambia <laughs> <laughs> nitaambia watu nini eh, nitaambia okay. mbugi unajua church pia kuna kuanga na mbugi yeah, eh, best, best yako alioa akakuwa na kiwedding kubwa yeah. and then jamaa mlikuwa na yeye pia ameoa akamkuwa na mnaimba kwa kwa yeah, yeah. so kwa na yeye pia umeoa na hujafanya yeah. wedding yeah. una feel like nitaambia watu nini mm. nitaambia hii rende nini so yeah. itabidi wewe pia umekopa but for me So, this is a message to my incoming maybe yeah, my future incoming wife. girlfriend watching yeah. speak to her mimi na wedding <coughs> reason tutatembea tu good. good good question reason reason ya kuyo kuhepa wedding marriage is not all about wedding kabisa okay marriage is not all about wedding there is a lot we can achieve without that wedding Okay. Yeah. So, tunaweza tembea kwa office of attorney general kidogo kidogo tunasomewa hizo nini we sign letter certificate nene nene na life yenyewe. Eh, what matters ni kukuwa na ile successful marriage. Successful yeah. marriage is not best kwa wedding. It's not even yeah, best yeah. kwa church. Kuna wase hata wajai kanyaga church na hapa nje wako na successful marriages. Yeah. Ukiwatembelea okay. hata unaweza tamani their marriages. Yeah. And then kuna wase waliwe juu ya pressure ama waliwe juu ya church pressure. Yeah. Unajua kuna watu huoa juu ya wedding. Juu ya wedding. Yeah. Eh, msa ama kwa si amesema. Yes. Mse anaoa juu anataka kuwe na wedding kama ya nani? Church. Umesikia? Like hata wako ameplan kwa. Yeah. Yeah. So me hiyo story ya kukopa do kwanza yeah. mimi hata kwanza siwezi kopa do wachana na hizo hata za wedding so, kama yeah. si ya business ya kopa do haya kama si business uh, kama si business kufuliza kufuliza kama ni ya business ama kuna situation yeah. ina force of force you and up uh, yes but unajua kuna vitu kama wedding ni luxury yeah yeah mbona no, ukupi wedding is a luxury <laughs> what is <laughs> to me is a luxury mbona ni kopa do being told to wind up uh, <laughs> just one lesson from both of you when the lesson gani me learn ko marriage yenye boy chala na wacho uko nje kama be hey bro ukikuja kwa ndoa expect 1 2 3 <laughs> as a married man i am here to give you the hacks just ah. one because we are out of time so like tuna zambia kijana mwenye anafikiria kwa ni kwamba tu make the right decision alafu avoid ma pressure za watu oh time yako na ile zose uko nazo standard yako ni hiyo okay full stop here so so you mm. before you come back and give you a social media no. one lesson from being single because mm. he is married now from being single as you are searching i think it's just simple uh-huh. date your class and date then your to class. date uh-huh. your class and then to some extent This will summarize everything. Cut your coat according to your size. True. Yeah. As simple Social as that. media. Social media uh hmm. YouTube araka, araka, YouTube na patika na. 2 seconds. Uh-huh. Yeah, YouTube uh, producer T. Facebook pro team ziki. Uh, it is natosha. Number. Number simu ni 0792136771. Good. Nafanya audio production. Thanks. Uh-huh. Facebook Jono Diambo. TikTok at John underscore Jojo. Oh, TikTok. Na sasa ni Yeah. Twitter okay, content cool because you mentioned you're a PR practitioner. Yeah, yeah the some okay. content tulikuwa tuna that zilikuwa political related oh, content. I had to just change bad. Uh, we'll change soon. Sasa. So, so. uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Twitter. Mm-hmm. Twitter ni at John Odiambo. At John Odiambo. Yes. Nataka kupana number mm-hmm. 0797 226138. <laughs> So, so and on that note uh, thank you so much for coming two powerful gentlemen Harrison and uh, John thank you so much for your time and coming through but uh, we are taking a very short commercial break continue to interact with us we'll be reading your feedback on Y254 channel is our social media platforms remember pala instagram it's an underscore and mine's is at Brian Sako 101 we are taking a short break when we come back with Stephanie Yeta we'll be sampling some of your feedback as we close up the show please don't touch the dial.